Plasmodium completes its life cycle in two phases and in two hosts. Sexual cycle in female Anopheles mosquito and asexual cycle in humans. Let us understand the life cycle of Plasmodium. When a female Anopheles mosquito bites a person to obtain a blood meal, it injects saliva mixed with an anticoagulant. If an infected female Anopheles mosquito bites a person, it injects the sporozoids of Plasmodium into that person. You see that on your screen. Plasmodium sporozoids enter the bloodstream of that person and travel to the liver cells. Now what happens inside the liver cells? Inside the liver cells, they divide repeatedly and new spores called merozoites are formed. These merozoites emerge and release into the red blood cells by rupturing the liver cells, as you can see on your screen. In the red blood cells, they undergo a sexual reproduction. After that, they rupture the red blood cells and release toxins which produce shivering and fever. Now, some merozoites in the blood develop into special cells called gametocytes or the sexual stage of plasmodium. Red blood cells containing gametocytes do not rupture. So what will happen? These gametocytes are then taken up by the female anaphylis mosquito along with the blood when it bites an infected person. In the intestine of a mosquito, the gametocytes differentiate and sperms and the egg cells combine to form a zygote. The zygote divides repeatedly to form more sporozoids. Then these sporozoids migrate to the salivary gland of the mosquito. When the mosquito bites another person, the life cycle begins again.